get a lot of funny looks when I bust this out in sessions. Why? Just because it... Because it... it does things like this. <laughs> <laughs> Once you actually have this thing rolling, Do some pretty interesting stuff with it. I so want to just turn this on and see what happens. Oh, please. So it's like stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Like you know? Dude. Know. Whoa. I'll keep it fully wet. That shit's okay. too cool. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. That's the thing. It's like. You know, I have to, as like a, not just a producer, but also like a pop songwriter, on a daily basis, I have to try to create something from scratch with people. It's constant songwriting, it's constant search for um, inspiration. So you start searching for chance occurrences and things you can't predict. Something that I really like to do a lot is do warped vinyl fully wet. A lot of times I like to make something that sounds like, um, that sounds like it was sampled. It's one of the things we do a lot here. Oftentimes we'll like just run it into this tape machine, just saturate it. Uh, but on the way in or the way out, this guy is really what puts it over the top. Like sometimes we'll literally print one, print the left through it and print the right through it. But you know, like if you have one side on one speed and depth that you're messing with, yep. the other side at the same time, it up a bit. Yeah. I mean, it's like unreal in headphones. When I first got this Jupiter, the first thing I did was put it through this guy. Some real juice from it. This combination was used a lot on the, um, on the Kesha album. When I was working with her, she just wanted like the gnarliest, grittiest stuff possible. I mean, the bass on this, running through that is insane. I mean, this is my go-to bass distortion pedal. No, nothing, nothing else comes close. This filter, you can select um, like the resonance. Whoa. Whoa. I'm really into this filter, or, or you, like this is the really extreme one. Right. You can also do one that's not as resonant. Wow. That I mean that low pass filter is like on the level of our Harrison, the the EQs on our console. Thanks, man. Which like, I think I, are, of our of was like the best, you know, the best low pass filters. That is so unreal, man. I hadn't worked on filter design a lot before this product came out and I'm just like so into it now like I'm yeah now that that's probably I don't know how much that's coming through the camera but that is about to knock this house down like the resonance on this low pass filter is killing it that's crazy if you're listening to this, put on headphones to get an idea of what we're hearing. <laughs> Something that we do a lot here is we just throw like wild stuff through these pedals. I'm sure. So I told myself I wasn't going to divulge all my secrets today, but I will divulge this. One of the best places to get instruments for people that are looking for new sounds, Etsy. Really? I'm all over Etsy. Oh, that's just great. Yeah. Just beautiful. I mean. Thing is, is like, we're sitting around like geeking out about pedals and all this electronics and stuff, but this just sounds, yeah. it just sounds emotional. Like it sounds sad. It's evocative. Yeah. And that's really what we're after. It's like, it's fun to talk about gear and show off gear, but at the end of the day, it's about 
giving it some heart and some purpose, you know? You know, we do a lot of experimentation in here. We do have people that are here like, yeah, you know, like I got three hours, what do you got for me? And quite often I'm under the gun to make something next level and unexpected and imaginative sounding in a short period of time. Just... <laughs> wow. Damn. That is so, so special. On this one, thanks, man. Uh, you can drive the clock down so low that you start hearing the clock, and it does like a sort of like a boot crushing thing. Wow. Like, normally when stuff like that happens, you're like, oh, that's a problem. Right, you know, right. This this thing is just like, it's just like. We're recording this, right? <laughs> My, <laughs> it's like we're actually making stuff. It's like, let's demo some pedals, but I'm actually thinking about like, Good. Mental note, let's use that later. Wow. Like, I hear, you know, I hear drums, I hear chords now, like now I hear a song. Oh, there, the arrangement's yeah. like already. It has a song now. That's great. Process right there, isn't it? 